So today I'm here to talk to you about the Hang Seng Index and the HSI Index is hitting. Join the RHO Traders Group on Telegram. It's 100% free to join. And I will be sharing daily market updates and strategy to trade the DLC. I will share trade plans on a daily basis showing the key levels to take note of. I also cover indices and also individual stocks like Alibaba, Capital Land and DBS. This will help you have a better idea of what to look out for. So join the group now and head down to the description box below and click the following link. So a quick summary, the current economic condition in China increasing resembles those of 2015 and 2016 with the caveat that the certain current development are more concerning than eight years ago. The main example are the severity of real estate crisis and the possibility of deflation. In order to mitigate this, uh, we, we could see in the past weeks, the Chinese government has made, taken urgent steps and this time it was a little different because those decisions to take urgent steps to revive the economy came from the Politburo and none other than Xi Jinping himself. Well, just last week, we heard news of the Chinese Politburo right, announcing major and sustained steps to tackle the Chinese economic downturn. And I hope that uh, with this top-down decision, especially coming from Xi Jinping, it will sustain the market uptrend. All right, so much for the macros. Let's go dive in into the technicals, okay? Uh, so for the technicals, let's start from uh, the Hang Seng Index. All right, so as far as the HSI uh, trade plan is concerned, on a macro level, it is still on a downtrend. And you could see that um, the, price, the prices hits the top and... Um, end of the downtrend channel okay when uh, the market rebound responding all right to the support measure announced by china uh, and hits there right at the top it pulls back and now is supported along all right uh, this uh, uh, trend line here that you could see my cursor is pointing but what is worth noting is that um if the downtrend continues, right, on this uh, trade plan here, all right, uh, if it breaks this support here, all right, uh, it, we could see, all right, the next support at 18.320. So unless we break above this trend line, uh, which is around about uh, 20,000, right, we will not all right, see the 20,890 uh, resistance level, which is the next target. So watch this trend line, all right, 20,000. Uh, hopefully, the Hang Seng Index is able to break above this 20,000 and uh, unless and until it breaks above this downtrend line, uh, there may not be a sustained uptrend, okay? So it has hit the target and it is currently retracing and that is why the last uh, two days I have been uh, telling on my chat group, on my Telegram chat group uh, for the participants on the, uh, on the chat group to be more bearish than bullish. So that's how I trade on the Hang Seng Index. I have a trade plan, I have a resistance, uh, target. I have a support target, and uh, when it when it comes to the resistance, it doesn't breaks above. I will be looking for a short DLC, all right, uh, to trade, and um, and I'll look for my support level on my trade plan. And when it comes to the support level and it starts to rebound, I will look for uh, a long DLC to be to trade. Okay, so and every day, right? Every day I give uh, 
daily trade plan, an intraday daily trade plan on Hang Seng. All right, for those people who are interested to trade Hang Seng on the intraday basis. So a lot of people have um, made use of the intraday trade plan uh, to make money. Uh, if you want to be part of uh, uh, the participants to receive this uh, trade plan, uh, you can join my Telegram, my DLC Telegram chat group. Okay, so besides Hang Seng Index, right, the other index that I'm watching right, is the Hang Seng Tech Index. So this is an index that comprises um, the big tech names like Alibaba, Tencent. They make quite a bit of weightage all right, on this index. So looking at index, in this index, right, it looks a little similar to the HSI index uh, in the sense that it is also on a downtrend. Okay, but this trade plan seems to be working well. All right, and you could see that uh, on. The, the uptrend channel, the one in the orange lines, okay, they are the current channels that the prices are moving, all right? And you could see that uh, in the, um, the, the swing points, all right, are touching, all right, these channels uh, on, on the upside three times and below is touching it four times and therefore, uh, that's how I know that uh, the, the prices are currently moving in these channels. So today the Hang Seng Tech Index closed at 4455 and it, it doesn't hold here for too long and keep coming down. It will go to my next target at 4170 on the trade plan. All right. So let's hope that the 4170, uh, if it ever hits there, it will rebound from there. Right. Otherwise, you know, you could see a big gap between 4150 and the next bottom at 3515. Okay, so until it breaks above this level, don't be bullish. All right, and you only want to be bullish when it breaks above this level here uh, on this uh, uptrend channel line, and the next target will be 5000. Alibaba and Tencent's uh, results are. Uh, coming out soon. And the reason why I want to talk about Alibaba and Tencent is because uh, they are like the bellwether of Hang Seng Index and Hang Seng Tech Index. All right. So these are the bellwether stocks. Uh, track them, know when they are releasing the results. So for Alibaba, coming results, all right. So uh, most analysts are bullish on the results. Uh, and uh, the reason why they believe there will be an uh, upturn in their businesses is because of um, an expanding merchant base. And in the C2, Q2, 3, all right, uh, Alibaba is projected to report a 2% top line growth and a 21.5% non IFRS net income increase outperforming consensus expectation. All right, so the key factor include Taobao, Tmall, uh, GMV, CMR estimates, lifted forecast owing to the return of merchants. Uh, international commerce and Kenyo uh, revenue projections, upward revision, EBITDA margin estimate enhanced for all sector except the cloud. So this is the Alibaba technicals, all right? And um, if you want to be trading Alibaba, uh, the DLCs uh, listed below. So Alibaba, right, um, just last week, uh, was quite positive, all right, because it broke above the trend line, all right, it broke above the trend line and it looks quite positive, but um, after that, it's broke now again below the trend line, all right, it is on a very gradual uptrend uh, and um, the very strong support, right, has been established at 93. So 93 
it's very important. I think that you know the 93 mark is like an inflection point. So if it breaks 93, you could see 84.5 and 84.5. That's where I think we could see a quite a huge rebound. All right, but uh, 84.5 uh, should not break because if it breaks, then we could probably see. Um, Sorry, that's not 84.5, all right? That's 89.5, okay? So correction for that, it's not 84.5, it's 89.5. And if we break 89.5, we'll probably see 83.5. Okay, so let's go to Tencent. It's reporting result on 16. The company's growth and valuation recovery will be driven by uh, several emerging catalysts. Uh, they are consumer internet revenue search providing the potential for improved operating leverage. All right. Uh, the mass solution and the AI deployment meeting the increasing enterprise demand for uh, model trading and AI applications simultaneously acting as accelerator for Tencent's own business growth. So what does the analyst say? Most of the analysts are predicting a robust quarter with an estimated increase in total revenue and non-IFRS net income by 12% and 25% year-on-year, respectively, reaching uh, renminbi 149 and renminbi 35 billion. All right, so this growth is primarily fueled by steady recovery in advertising and fintech sector and efficient operating Leverage. So watch out for Tencent's results on 16th uh, and hopefully uh, Tencent and Alibaba results right, could lift the market. So what about a on the technical side? So on the technical side, um, the Tencent's you know, price recovery seems a little bit weaker than Alibaba and weaker than um, the HSI. All right, so you could see on the orange line, it is on a downtrend still, and until it breaks that downtrend line, all right, we could see uh, our next target at three seventy six. All right, so currently it's trading at three fifty, and uh, if it breaks three three fifty, it could go to three seventy six. Uh, and I suspect the results is good. So if you want to be taking advantage of um, the uh, price movement in ten cents, all right, uh, you could refer to the DLC below. So down there, I've listed two uh, DLC, one short and one long DLC. You can use them. Okay, and so this is the, um, the end of my uh, presentation on uh, Chinese. Um, Economy and the Hang Seng Index and HSI uh, Tech Index.